If you like this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already, and please, by all means, share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at Sebulandia. But before that, this video is brought to you by Donald Smart and Darren Manville. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Sebulandia map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this is going to be a PC-only map. Now let me read you some of the description. Welcome to the fictional area of Sebulandia. This is a medium-sized map located somewhere in Poland. This map contains 86 fields, 105 farmlands, a train, a BGA, traffic and pedestrians, various selling and production points, one starting farm with a chicken coop, three small villages, collectibles, fuel station, lime purchase, many forest areas, and much, much more. Let's go ahead and load into the map and experience that much, much more. We are going to be using the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. I will tell you, if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you will find the main starting farm is not there in those alternate game modes. In addition, you do not have starting machinery in those alternate game modes. Now, I did load this system up on a low-end system with AMD integrated graphics, and I found the frame rates were absolutely outstanding. I had no issues whatsoever in maintaining a solid 60 FPS, regardless of where I was on the map. And of course, speaking of the map, let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. So if we zoom all the way out, we can see that this is a smaller than standard size map. It is a circular size map overall, but overall kind of the corners of the PDA are chopped off. So I would say indeed, this is kind of a medium sized map. We do have all the standard crops available to us in FS22 on this map including our premium expansion crops of red beets, carrots, and parsnips, if you have that DLC enabled. Take a look at our lands overview. We see we start out by owning farmland ID 101, 97, 98, and our main farm at farmland ID 99. This main farmland ID costs $18,947 in any alternate game mode. Go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any field or fields, what is included. Then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? Now, one thing I take from looking at this list is the farmland and field numbers are literally all over the place. So that is going to be very important to cross-reference our farmland lease screen with our field calculator screen, where we are seeing the sizes of each particular field. When looking at these sizes, we can see that we have several fields that are less than one hectare in size. So I would say our overall, our average field size is going to be less than one hectare with our largest fields being somewhere above two, two and a half. Here we have one at 2.6 and we have another one here at 2.36. And I believe one of our starting fields is going to be in the three hectare range. So 2.75. Now we take a look at our crop counter. We do have what appears to be the standard base game crop counter available to us here on this map. And if we look at our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops that are again available to us in FS22. In addition, we do have our ability to sell our eggs, oil, milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. The story continues with respect to our base game production items. We do have the ability to sell all of our base game production items once again. In addition, we do have the ability to buy bulk lime. And we also have the ability to sell our stones. Those playing with farm production, well, you will have the ability to sell your washed root crops. And in fact, you may find that if you have the platinum expansion production enabled, you do have the ability to sell all of your platinum expansion productions as well. The story continues with our premium expansion as well as our separated manure. So those playing with straw harvest will be able to know. 
pumps and hoses will be able to sell your separated manure and those playing with straw harvest will be able to get rid of your hay and straw pellets as well. So overall, you can pretty much sell everything on this map, regardless if you have DLC activated or not. We have a very modest list of starting machinery. It is all owned. None of it is leased and is all very well maintained. We do have one chicken coop at the starting farm. Those are our only animals. This map does have contracts available to us. We do not own any other production chains at the start. And we have 100 collectibles also available. Let's go ahead and have a look at our starting fleet. We have the pure 6105 small tractor. We have the Massey Ferguson 3670 medium tractor, as well as the Nova 330 harvester. With our harvester, we have the PowerStream 500 grain header. We have our 1986 pickup truck, the Welger DK115 trailer, as well as the Agamaz POV5 XL plow, the Rave EG39 cultivator, the Nordstein HK25 NS3030 cedar and Power Hero combination. We have the Amazon ZATS3200 solid fertilizer spreader. We have the Nardi N20T header trailer for our power stream header. And we have a 650 kilogram front weight. With respect to mods and DLCs, this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements. Now we do start here at the town and typical to Polish map fashion. We start here at the bus stop. I'm just going to quickly tab over to our starting farm location where our Bure tractor is stored. And here at our starting farm, we do have a small barn. We have our weight. We have our farmhouse. Our chicken coop. So we have our buy trigger. 48 chickens in this coop. And in here, we also have then our dump point for our chicken feed. And then with respect to where our eggs are going to come out at, well, they're kind of run, kind of come out around here in the back. We have our farm silo, so we have our dump and fill point. And that is pretty much this starting farm location. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, if you are playing in any alternate game mode, this is completely barren of all buildings and all vehicles. So what that also means is that you can indeed sell everything here at the starting farm. And this map only has this farm pre-placed on it now this map does have a custom soil map so let's rewind a little bit and come back here to our precision farming screen and let's take a look and see how that custom soil map is being applied to these fields in the center of the map we have a big section of silty clay on the outside of that silty clay we've got a round area of loam and then beyond that, we have our sandy loam. And then we have little slivers of loamy sand all the way to the northwest and a wee wee little bit down here to the south on field 76. We take to the skies. We can get a kind of a general overview of the map here. We have several small fields right here by the main starting farm. So you get yourself started with several fields. Then you can see we have nice patches of trees and forestry pretty much surrounding the entirety of the play area of this map. Now, I have to say, I kind of like a round map. We also have several roads here, so it's not like we're just driving in a big circle. But I just kind of like the, the structure and the way everything works out with respect to a round map. Here we have one of our productions. There are a total of nine productions pre-placed on this map. This is gonna be our sugar factory. So we have an interactive icon here. We have our dump point and our pallet spawn point located right there. Now let's kind of make a counterclockwise tour of the map. 
Here we have our grocery or supermarket cell point. Supermarket with a bunch of solar panels. This is gonna be our dairy production. Oh, sorry. We have refined sugar. So we have our dump point here. Let's go around the front. Cheese, so... Yeah, our dairy. Our interactive icon and then our pallet point is there around the back. Here we have our vehicle dealer. So let's go ahead and pick up our Mahindra and just see where things spawn. Right here in the front of the parking lot. A modest size area, I would say, for our vehicles to spawn in, given the sizes of these particular fields. We then have our dealer trigger located right next door. Further in town. We now come to our next production point. This is going to be our bakery. So we have our interactive icon. We have our dump point and our pallet spawn point right there. Across the street from our bakery. We have our dump point. This is going to be a cell point. Or village shop. There we have our supermarket. Here we have our sugar factory. And then this is where we started. And another cell point located right here. Now this one is an interesting production. We listen. Well, we can hear sewing machines. This is our tailor. So we have our interactive icon, we have our dump point, and then we have our pallet spawn point for our clothing. So overall, there are a total of nine different productions on this particular map. We have the dairy, bakery, sugar mill, sawmill, spinnery, a BGA, a carpenter, a grain mill, and the tailor. So here we're going to have a sell point for our bales in cotton. We have our grain sell point. And let's continue to loop around and do again our counterclockwise tour. So given the nine productions, we are going to be giving the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such. With the respect to the ability to sell all of our base game crops, animal outputs, and productions, we're once again going to give the map a full point because we do indeed have the ability to basically sell each and everything on not only the base game things, but all of the DLCs as well. Here we have our lime buy point. A grain cell point. We have a cell point here for our potatoes and sugar beets as well. This is going to be our spinnery. So we have our dump point and our pallet spawn point. Over here we have a train transfer silo. 
the train line it basically just loops around here a little short short train line just pokes its way into the map and then makes a quick exit so we have our dump and fill point for the train we have our dump and fill point for the trailer and then we have our rent train icon right here now right next to the train silo we have our sawmill so we have our plank spawn point we have our wood cell trigger and activation icon we have our interactive interactive icon and our wood chip point right there our carpentry so we have our wood dump point our wood cell trigger and our spawn point for our carpentry production our biogas plant so we have two pull through silage bunkers we have our dump point for our slurry we have our digester dump point we have our interactive icon and our fill point for our digestate. Making our way back towards the center of town. We're going to come here to a bunch of greenhouses. Now these are not greenhouses that we can use, but this is going to be a cell point. Looping over here just south of field 68. And we have another set of cell points. So we have a grain cell point, a bale cell point, and then we have our animal dealer. We have our grain mill. So we have our dump point, our pallet point, and our interactive point. We have our gas station, and now we are back full circle because here we have our dealer, and over there we have our base farm. We have the greenhouses here. And that is pretty much Sebo Lande. Landia. Sebo Landia. I think I pronounced that maybe close to how Google Translate said it. Now, with respect to a farms being customizable, we've already mentioned we can indeed sell everything at the main starting farm. We are going to give the map then at full point. With respect to the farms being customizable, we're going to be giving the map a half a point. With respect to building textures where appropriately aren't using the new texturing technique because we've got a mix and match of various buildings. Some are using more flatter building textures and then others are using the more modern building textures. So again, we're going to give a half a point because of the mix between kind of newer, newer textures overall and more of the flatter textures from days gone by with respect to triggering interactive areas being clearly marked we are also going to give the map a full point there as well because i do feel that all of these markers are very clear and poignant and as such players should not have any difficulty in ultimately figuring out what is going on now i'd love to know your all's thoughts down in the comments below with respect to this particular map it's a nice little map, I feel, and if I had time to play on it, I think I would probably give it a go. I like how we have our farm located down here. Nice little small, quaint farm. Then we have lots of fields right next to the farm that we could do lots of different agriculture on. And we could possibly even level out some of these areas and continue to expand our farm a bit more if we wanted to get into additional animals. Also, there are areas kind of scattered around where we could maybe sacrifice a field here, sacrifice a field there for additional productions and or farm building locations. 
And until next time, happy farming.